This video was made possible by Dashlane. Manage your password securely with Dashlane for free at dashlane.com slash H-A-I. Hey, this is a nice shade of turquoise-ish blue, isn't it? It'd be nice to make a ping pong paddle or something with it, wouldn't it? Well, too bad, because it's one of the most protected colors out there, and you can't. There are actually a lot of things you can own, such as bees, beets, peats, tweed, mead, meat, moats, boats, goats, gates, gators, gutters, butter, putters, cookers, cougars, coolers, and colors. Now, that might come as a surprise to you. Goats are animals of incredible power that aren't subject to human institutions such as ownership, but legally, according to people laws, you can own a goat just as much as you could own a color. To this, you could say what, or huh, or hmm, because something so tangible and yet abstract as color has to automatically be public domain, right? I mean, how can someone own a color? Let's take that first color as an example. By itself, it is a mere color, but sprinkle a little meaning into it, make the public mentally connect this shade to a company, and you may have just formed the basis of legally taking ownership of it. In 1985, insulation and roofing company Owens Corning won the first case in the United States allowing a company to trademark a color when they ruled that this special shade of pink that they used for their insulation was unique to them and so other competitors couldn't use it at all. Let's read some words. The American legal definition of a trademark is a word, phrase, symbol, and or design that identifies and distinguishes the source of the goods of one party from those of others. So essentially, if a word, phrase, symbol, and or design is unique and widely identifiable as linked to a company, it has the case to be a trademark. The key word in those words is design, since a color can be a design, and therefore a color can be a trademark. There's a big exception though. The US Supreme Court says that a trademark can be a single color as long as that color is not functional. What does that mean? That means the color can't do a thing. For example, the government has denied trademark applications from phone companies wanting to protect their easily identifiable orange or yellow telephone booths. In those cases, the color's function is to make the booths easy to spot and so they can't be trademarked. However, if those phone companies uniquely used a shade of teal or purple or some other low tier color and they were well known for their branding being in that shade, they'd have a more compelling case. The court's stance on trademarking colors is that the color has to meet the purpose of identifying the source of the product. It has to be widely linked to the company. There are now plenty of legally recognized and registered color trademarks, including the Tiffany blue shown at the beginning, Barbie pink, Home Depot orange, Target red, and UPS brown. These companies are well known for their branding using these unique colors, and so they have been granted trademarks for these exact colors. Now, I just showed those copyrighted colors in this video, which is a commercial endeavor thanks to those sweet sponsorship dollars, so am I about to spend the next few months in jail? Maybe, but not for this. In fact, some colors have multiple valid trademarks from completely different companies occurring simultaneously. How is that possible? Because the trademarks are also for totally different things. For example, these two virtually indistinguishable shades of red are both trademarked, this one by fashion designer Christian Louboutin and this one by department store Target. Christian Louboutin has the trademark for the use in shoe design, whereas Target has the trademark for use in department stores. Trademarks cover the design in specific instances so that competing or similar products don't intersect on design. Let's take the example of one of the world's most iconic and beloved logos, ours. The yellow text with purple background is pretty indicative of this show. When you see that at the beginning, you know you're about to watch a dumpster fire with a bit of information and bad humor thrown in. If we were considering switching it up, we could maybe use Coke Red as our main color or maybe even T-Mobile Magenta, and nobody could say a thing about it because we don't sell soda or phones. We aren't competing in a similar market, so there's no basis for trademark infringement. However, if another video series in a similar space were to use the signature half as interesting yellow purple duo in their logo or bumpers and they came out looking like ours, we would have legal grounds to say that they are violating our trademark. There is therefore a reasonable legal basis to say that I, the owner of half as interesting, own this color, at least for use in online video production. Much like cheesecake factories, trademarks just exist whether you want them or not. You can register them, but you don't have to for them to be legally enforceable. You just have to have that defined branding in the public consciousness to have your case. In places like the United States, unlike copyright, as long as you use it, a trademark will never expire. So in summary, if you want to own a color, all you have to do is create a company, market it in a way that the public connects a color to your brand, and it's yours. Back in 1996, I actually started a company. I called it NetFilms. We put films on the internet and we had this great bold red branding that we managed to get a registered trademark for, but eventually I forgot the company password and I couldn't figure out how to reset it, so we just shut down. 
While there could be some embellishments in that story, what's not one is that I would have been saved if only Dashlane had existed then. Luckily, it does now, so I will never lose the password for my next business venture where I put radio on the internet. That's because Dashlane acts as a centralized, secure place where you can store all your passwords so you can keep complex passwords that look like this that you could never remember and a hacker's computer could never guess. Dashlane then autofills these passwords on your devices, and the best part is that this is free when you sign up at dashlane.com slash HAI. If you want to get all their premium features though, like a VPN, syncing across devices, and dark web monitoring, you can use the code HAI to get 10% off upgrading to premium.